Last time, we did the best red inventory. Today, we're doing the best blue inventory. 2,000 likes for the best white inventory. Hey, what's up guys, it's Tuber here and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be going over the best blue themed CSGO loadout 2020 edition. By the way guys, if we do get 2000 likes on this video, we'll be doing the best white themed inventory next week. So guys, smash that like button and I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. First, I want to plug a few things. First of all, hey guys, I have a Discord server. Make sure to join the Discord server if you haven't already. Also, I have a Twitch and we stream a couple times a week. It's always a fun time, so make sure to follow me on there and also a big massive shout out to my supporters on patreon thank you to them for supporting the channel and thank you guys for watching and let's get right into it anyways the first skin on this list is the usps blueprint just an absolutely amazing skin it's just full blue and it's perfect for this blue themed inventory Next up, we have a really nice pair of dualies, the Dual Beretta Urban Shocks, just some very, very nice looking light blue dualies with a little bit of urban camo on them. So it's just the perfect combination. I would rate these an eight out of eight. Next up, we have the P250 Undertow, and this is a very, very solid P250. Pretty much, I mean, the top part looks kind of like a default P250, but the bottom part is where the skin really shines. It's basically just full blue with a pretty cool, you know, bluish design. So it's definitely perfect for this kind of inventory, you know, a blue themed inventory. So yeah, yeah. Next up, we have the 5-7 Case Hardened Blue Gem. And for this list, you absolutely need a blue gem, but you don't have to get a tier one. Like this one, well, this is a tier one, but it's only about $50 or so. So it's really not that pricey. However, though, you could always go with like a number one pattern if you want to like get the best possible blue gem 5-7, or you could get a tier two or a tier three. As long as it has a decent amount of blue, it's totally good for this inventory. Next up for the Deagle, this was kind of a tough choice because I had I basically had the choice between the Cobalt Disruption or the Blue Ply. And the Blue Ply is nice and all, but I just feel like the Cobalt Disruption is way better because it's shinier, it's brighter, and it just overall has more blue. And I just think it's a better blue, you know, Deagle. I mean, if you really want a cheap one, I guess go with the Blue Ply. But if you want the best possible Deagle for a blue inventory, dude, you got to go with the Cobalt Disruption straight up. Next up, we have the Glock 18 Twilight Galaxy, just a absolutely stunning blue skin. Pretty much, it's kind of like the Bunsen burner, but with a little less blue, but the blue definitely has a much cooler look to it, and it also sparkles too, so it's like, dude, it's amazing. It's a 10 out of 10 skin. Next up, we have the Tech 9 Ice Cap, and this is another pretty solid skin, and it actually matches the gloves pretty damn well, which I feel like takes it to the next level, um, but I kind of did a poll in the stream, and everybody wanted this skin so that's why we went with the tech 9 ice cap if you don't really like the tech 9 and you prefer the cz you can always go with the cz 75 poison dart it doesn't exactly have the most blue on it but it still has some blue on the top but the rest of it is pretty much like a default cz but i mean at the end of the day as long as it has some blue it still fits the inventory so it's all good Next up, we have the MP9 stained glass from the Canals collection, and I feel like this is one of the better looking MP9s in the game. I definitely really like it, and I felt like this was the perfect skin to put in this list because it's blue, but it also has a little bit of red too, so it stands out just a little bit, but it's mostly blue, and I feel like that's a great reason to put it on a blue inventory. So, yep, some people said the Pandora's box was a better choice, but I just think this looks a lot cleaner. Next up is the MAC-10 Lapis Gator, and this is a very nice looking MAC-10 in my opinion, because it's basically just full blue, which is perfect for the inventory, and it also has a cool design that looks like a bunch of, you know, alligator scales. Hence the name Lapis Gator, because Lapis is the color, Gator is the pattern. Pretty self-explanatory. Now we have the MP7 Ocean Foam, just a very solid MP7. So there's not a lot of blue MP7s, actually no, there's a lot of blue MP7s, but I feel like the Ocean Foam is one of the best ones because it's not just solid blue, it's not just one color, it's basically like there's a lot of lightish blue, but then there's also darker blue too, and it's just a pretty cool combination, it looks super dope. Next up we have the UMP Exposure, which I also like to call the UMP Blue Bone because, well, it looks like a blue skeleton. It's overall a very awesome looking UMP, and it's also incredibly cheap too, so no matter what kind of budget you're on, you can definitely afford one of these bad boys. If you have a blue pair of gloves, it takes it even farther and it takes it to the next level too. Now we have the P90 blind spot, which is kind of a really cool blue camo type kind of skin. It's not really camo, but it has that kind of vibe to it. And it has a little bit of red on it too, which blue and red definitely go super well together. You know, it's like a little reference to the show Red vs. Blue, which if you haven't seen yet, check it out, dude. Red vs. Blue is my jam, dude. It is, dude, it's top notch. It is some quality content. 
Next up, we have the PP Bison Blue Streak, which is a very, very dope PP Bison skin with just little streaks of blue. I mean, the ne the name is very self-explanatory, and the rest of it is, I guess, it's like the default PP Bison, which I feel like makes it look a little bit better too, because it's like they took the default skin and just put some paint on it. Not a bad looking skin at all, and I definitely think it fits the inventory just absolutely perfectly. No problems whatsoever. Now moving on to the heavies, first of all we have the Nova Tempest, which is absolutely really cool. It's like the perfect shade of blue, plus it has kind of a cool, a cool design right there like on the side. So the Nova Tempest is definitely a great looking skin and I would totally recommend it for a blue themed inventory, 100%. Next up, we have the XM1014 Slipstream. This is a pretty cheap skin, but I think it definitely fits the inventory very well. I mean, it's not all blue, but it's mostly blue, and the, the shades of blue that are on it are definitely very, like, they're vibrant, they're cool looking, and it's overall not a bad skin for the price. So, pretty solid XM. Next up, we have the Sawed Off Serenity, which is a very nice Sawed Off, and it's definitely extremely overlooked. Like, you don't really... I don't really see these too often. I mean, to be fair, nobody uses the Sawed Off, so that's probably one of the reasons why, but... I feel like for the price, this is an incredibly nice skin, and I would definitely recommend it. Now we have the Mag 7 Cobalt Core, which is another very solid skin, and it's even cheaper than the Serenity 2, which is very nice. But basically, it's like it's kind of like a blue Mag 7 with a couple different shades of blue on it. So overall, it's pretty cool. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the M249 Shipping Forecast, which I feel like is a pretty cool skin. Now, it doesn't exactly have a lot of blue on it, but it was the only M249 that I found that actually had a little bit of blue. The blue is mostly on the back, so yeah. I mean, it's not a full blue skin, but it's the one that had the most blue out of any M249. Next up, we have one of the most overpriced and ugly skins in the entire game, the Negev Anodized Navy, and this thing is... It's only this much because you can trade it up for a Glock Fade, which Glock Fades at this point are like $700, but it's just not a good looking skin, but it's blue and it fits the list perfectly, so we had to throw it on here. So if you want the ultimate blue inventory, you need one of these. However, though, if you don't want to throw away all your money, you could always go with the Mana War, which is just the cheaper version. It looks exactly the same, but it also has a little bit of gold on it, too. So I feel like it actually looks even better, which is kind of crazy considering this is like just a couple cents. And the other one is literally over a hundred dollars and they're both pretty not that great, but they're blue. So, yeah, they fit the list. Next up, we have the M4A4, the Emperor, which has a very nice skin. Now, honestly, it's not completely blue, but it has a pretty decent amount of blue on it. And I feel like it's perfect for this inventory because it, like, I mean, look at it with the gloves. It's like the perfect combination. I mean, I guess technically there's probably better M4A4s out there, but this is my favorite. And if you don't want to get yourself an Emperor, because they are pretty pricey, you can also pick up an M4A4 Desolate Space, which definitely has a pretty decent amount of blue on it. And it's a very, like, it's light blue and it looks super cool. There's also some other, like, neon colors, like purplish, and, like, there's also, like, a skull guy right there in an astronaut suit. So it's a pretty dope skin overall. Now we have the M4A1S Nightmare. For all you M4A1 lovers out there, the Nightmare is a severely underrated skin. Like, for the price, this thing is absolutely amazing. It's basically like a cheaper version of the Icarus Fell, and I think it even looks better than the Icarus Fell. It's just overall a very awesome looking skin with a cool monster on it, so definitely a good choice. Next up, we have the SSG Abyss, one of the bluest SSGs in the game, but yeah, this is actually pretty cool. So fun fact, I actually unboxed this right before I recorded this video, so I was able to just pop it on, and now we have just an amazing blue scout skin, basically. And it's also incredibly cheap, too, so if, no matter what kind of budget you're on, you're Gucci. Next up, we have the Og Anodized Navy, which isn't really the most aesthetically pleasing skin, but it's blue, so it fits perfectly. Basically, it's just a regular Og with a little bit of anodized blue on it. Or I guess the I guess it's like a navy kind of blue, so that's my description of the skin. Very dope. Kind of overpriced, but it's not too bad. Next up, we have probably, we have definitely the most expensive skin on this entire list, and that's the Op Gun Gear, or Gun Gear. And I don't know how to pronounce it, but in my opinion, this is the best Op in CSGO. It's blue, it's amazing, it has a cool design, and, well, I mean, it's basically the Dragon Lore. This is the 2020-2019 Dragon Lore. Next up, we have the Scar 20 Grotto, a very, very nice Scar 20, and it's also incredibly cheap. Like, a factory new one is 30 cents or whatever, which is pretty damn cheap, in my opinion. So, just overall, not a bad skin. It has a lot of blue on it, but it also has, kind of looks a little bit like the default Scar with just some extra stuff added on. Next up, we have the FAMAS Afterimage. 
a very, very nice skin, but the price actually has gone up quite a bit over the last little while because of trade-up contracts. But regardless, it is still a very amazing skin, essentially. Like, it's not entirely blue. It has a lot of red on it, but it has enough blue to make the list and to look nice with a bunch of other blue skins. For the G3SG1, I went with the Kronos for no other reason other than because why not? But no, this is actually an amazing skin and a lot of people don't really use it anymore just because the price has gone up so much. But look at it, dude. It has gears. It's pretty blue and it's overall very solid. It's pretty damn overpriced in my opinion. Now we have the Glil Aqua Terrace, which is a skin that I guarantee that a lot of you guys probably haven't used because it's a very... It's a very unused skin in the game, but it's very, very cool. It has a lot of light blue on it, plus a lot of white, which both colors go super well together. I'd rate this skin a blue out of 10. Next up, we have a skin that a lot of people aren't going to be able to get, but this is a skin that truly makes this the ultimate blue inventory, and it is any AK-47 blue gem. Now, for example, like the one that I'm showing off is a scar pattern or a number 661. It's the number one pattern one in the game. And you don't necessarily have to get one of these. You could always get a 321 or like a 155 or any of the other like tier one, tier two, or even tier three patterns. Like as long as it has a decent amount of blue, it'll work. And if you guys still use the SG553 or the Creek, you can also use the Integral. Integral? I don't even know how to pronounce it, but... Even though it does have a lot of red on it, it does also have a decent amount of blue, and I feel like the blue definitely matches the gloves and it matches the rest of the inventory. This is the best option. Anyways guys, so that was it for all the weapons. Now we have the gloves and the kneef. So for the gloves, obviously we went with the superconductors as one of them. And then also if you want to use the superconductors, I would highly recommend using a blue gem because the blue on the blue gem actually matches the superconductor gloves. You obviously don't have to get a crambit blue gem like me, but you can get like, a, there's gut knives, there's shadow daggers, there's, there's, all, there's, there's a bunch of like much cheaper ones. I mean, you could even just get like a normal case hardened that has like 40% blue and that'll probably suffice. Like that's, that's good enough. Like as long as it has, you know, an okay amount of blue on it, it'll definitely work super well with the inventory. Alternatively, you can also take the Sapphire route and you can go with a Karambit Sapphire or, or just literally any Sapphire in the game, a gut knife, shadow dagger, Falchion, just anything you want, like M9, Bayonet, whatever. If you're going to be using a Sapphire, I would highly recommend the Cobalt Skull gloves because they are the, I feel like they're the best gloves to use with Sapphires just because they match the blue so well. And they're just, dude, they're very nice. They're, they're good gloves. Not going to lie. NGL. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe, click that bell icon. And if you watch the video all the way until the end, leave a comment saying hashtag turbo. That's a pretty blue inventory. And let me know in the comments down below, what kind of inventories do you guys want to see me do next? Like, do you want to see like a white inventory, a green inventory, like purple inventory? We could do like literally any color or we could do like a super low budget inventory. We could do like the most expensive inventory possible. So just let me know which kind of inventory you guys want to see in the next video. And uh, I think next week we're going to be doing the white inventory if we get 2,000 likes in the first 24 hours. But after that, we'll need, you know, I'll use your suggestions. So anyways, guys, hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Wash your hands, stay safe, stay home, and hope you guys have a great rest of your day. It's Turbo, and I'm out. Peace.